Well, I said the next one I would do would be the Harrier CB. If you're following the sequential, I did the Midland 76900 base station, which has the same Cybernet board as this Harrier CB. Oh, it's on channel 13, unlucky for some. Well, you know, I can't really fault these. They, they just work, don't they? And this one, they provided a power lead. It's got the factory original microphone and the microphone plug is sellotaped together. So we'll pause the video while I deal with that mic lead. Okay, starting with this radio, I've sorted out the microphone plug, put a new plug on it. And we're going to start with the VCO for transmit. And first of all, we need to, the test point for it is the far side of resistor 4. By that, I mean the far side to where I am sitting. And there's resistor 4. And there, just there, that's this side, that's the far side. So we'll set the radio into transmit on channel 40. And it should be 4 volts. It's 1.2. So the red trimmer capacitor, we just adjust that so that we get holding the mic in transmit and I'm holding that on Well, that's the highest lock point we can get, which is 1.8. Go back to receive. And that should be 1 to 1 1.8, so that's slightly high. That's, that's fair enough. We'll go to the other side. We'll go to channel 1. That's still in lock on transmit. And that's a bit lower than I'd like to see on receive. So we'll just adjust the receive. Go back to channel 40. Go back to channel 2, uh, to 1. And I'll check that's in lock with the signal generator. Okay, what I've done in the background is to check the receive on channel 40, check the receive on channel 1 with the signal generator to make sure it really was in lock, and that's fine. So I have covered the VCO. So the first transmit coil to adjust is transformer 2, which is that one there. So we'll set the radio into transmit. What are we doing right now? And the answer is 3 watts. Then we'll move forward to the next coil, which is that one there under the wiring, which is where I can't get to it. Well, that's peaked. Moving across to transformer six under that bit of wiring. The answer is the yep, that's fine. Moving to transformer four. That 
that's now fine. Then we move to coil 4, and that's done with the, in my case, the green plastic tool. That was miles out. That's now 4.7 watts. Checking coil 8. Yep. That's now 5 watts, and then we reduce it to the 4 watts with L9. Obviously a good example, that's brought it up. So next we need to make sure that the RF power meter, I just realised this uh, front's loose on the, on the set, got some glue on it. Um, check that the power meter here is reading 4 watts. It's not far out, but we need to adjust it, and it's RV4. That's now 4. Excellent. Now we'll check that the low power position is doing 0.4 of a watt. So we'll switch to low power, which just switches at the back, just there. It's doing exactly nothing on low power. I'll just clean the preset because they can play up. And that's now reading 0.4, so switch back to the high power position. Excellent. Check the radios on frequency. Should be twenty seven decimal six oh twenty seven decimal seven nine one two five for channel twenty which I'm on. And what we have is twenty seven seven nine one one six. So it's dropped very slightly and that's absolutely normal as crystals age. So we're just a ten point four two four reference oscillator crystal with the red trimmer there. Twenty seven seven nine one two four, so that's fine. And now we're going to check the deviation. Get my oscillator out. Switch that on. Go into transmit. I'll switch the other camera on so you can see the right hand oscilloscope. And just move the light so you can actually see the trays. And what we're looking for is on the test set, we're looking for deviation not exceeding 2.5 and at the moment that's very low. The deviation control is RV2 so that needs just turning up there we go That's. and then we just need to check that that's something near with the whistle test that's over the top. And then we do the wallow. That's fine. The vertical preset RV6 is my gain as I understand it. Okay, that set up the transmitter. So it was very quiet and it was only doing 3 watts. And slightly off frequency, so that's now super. What we'll now do is um, I'll be back with you on the receive side of this video.